Data tables is a powerful library that changes your table from this to this or maybe even to this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the library from the official website and set it up in your HTML project. So let's get started. Here I'll start by creating an HTML file. So I'll name it index.html. Just type an exclamation mark, then press tab and this code will be generated for you. I will save the code and then I will open the project with the live server as you can see we don't have anything yet let's go to the data tables website search data tables you will choose the search result data tables.net you'll click on it in here from the navigation you will click on manual and then installation now i'll scroll down to this part and i'll copy this table i'll copy it to my html project i'll put it here ctrl v okay this is my table if we go to the page to see the result of this table you can see that it's a plain table without any styling so i'll go back to this page and scroll down to the links right here in the cdn as you can see we can include the files without even download them but in my case i will download them in order to use them offline so i will click on this link you can see this is the css file so i will first copy the name of the file i'll copy it from here ctrl c i'll go back to visual studio code and here i will create a directory from this button and i'll name it lib stands for library inside this folder i'll create another folder and i'll name it data table this is the name of the library and inside the directory of data tables i'll create a folder whose name is the text i copied from the browser which is data tables.css this is the css file now i'll go to the browser and i'll select all the file content by by pressing ctrl with a from the keyboard so i'll copy all the content copy and i'll put it inside the file here i'll press ctrl v and then ctrl s and now let's go to the javascript file so i'll go back and then press on this link this is the javascript file the same thing i will copy the name of the file from here ctrl c and go back to visual studio code and here i'll create the javascript file inside the data tables directory so i'll create a file paste the name of the file and then go back to the browser select all the content press ctrl with a copy the content and then paste it inside here ctrl v save the file now before including the files into our html code we have to download and include jquery so i'll go to the browser and search jquery press enter and here you will choose the search result jquery.com you'll click on it from this page you will press on this button download jquery and then you will click on the first link right here jquery production the same thing i've done before i'll copy the name of the file from here so i'll copy this name click copy go back to visual studio and from here you will click on the name of the directory lib and create a directory inside the lib and name it jquery enter and inside the jquery directory i'll create a javascript file press ctrl v to paste the name of the file and then click enter go back to the browser click here and press ctrl a to select all the content and then copy the content from here click copy and then paste the content and now you can say that all our files are ready now we can include all the files into our html document so i'll start by the css from here we can include the css of data tables i'll just create create a comment to indicate that this is the file of data tables and here you'll create a link tag href is lib inside lib we have data tables and inside data tables this is the css file so the css file is included now we can include the javascript file so i'll start by including the jquery i will go to here before the closing tag of body so i'll create a script tag script source press tab lib inside lib we have jquery and inside jquery this is the javascript file of jquery and again above the script tag i'll specify that this is the jquery file so i'll write 
jQuery and then I have to include the JavaScript file of data tables right here I will create a comment and say this data tables file so I'll create a script tag source the source will be lib data tables data tables.js now if I save my work and go back to the browser to see the result of this code so I'll go to the browser this is our document we can see that nothing changed that's because we didn't initialize data tables for this table yet so go back to here click back and scroll down to the code of initialization we can find it right here initializing data tables this is the code of initializing data tables i will copy it click copy go back to your html file and here you'll create a script you can put it on another file but i'll put it in this document just for short so right here i will paste the code that i have copied and make sure that this id matches the id of the table the id here is my table and also here it is my table now if i press ctrl s and go back to the page we can see that it's working this is the table we have pagination we can search the columns and we can show a specified number of entries i'll put some style in order to make it better so i'll create a style tag and i'll put some padding for the body selector so i'll write padding let's say 50 pixels and 200 100 pixels that's okay go back to the browser you can see this is the result of our code so that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have an idea for the next video please type it in the comment section and please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one